Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and these are romance series I need to definitely continue with. I have 20 romance series that are at the top of my TBR. I definitely have more series that I want to continue on with, but I don't want this video to be a billion years long. <laughs> um, so I just picked the top 20 series that I have started and would love to finish sometime soon. I kind of grouped the genres a little bit together in here. Um, so you have like contemporary, there's historical, there's a few alien romance sci-fi ones, there's fantasy ones as well. Um, so yeah, these are 20 series that I would love to finish sometime soon. First is the Kings of Italy series by Mila Finelli. I recently read book number one, which is Mafia Mistress. I'm about to pick up number two anytime now when the behold comes in within the next like two weeks. This is a mafia romance series I've heard nothing but amazing things about. Um, I didn't like adore book number one but I do know my friends like love all the other books in the series so I'm very excited and the first two books are kind of like connected because it's about the same couple. The first two books at least are and it's kind of like a duet and so the first book ended on cliffhanger and book number two is gonna like wrap up their story and all the other ones I think are like standalone books but they're like interconnected standalone so you read about these characters in other books in the series. But yeah these are mafia romances. The first one mafia mistress um, the heroine um, is a part of this mafia family. She does not want to be a part of it. She wants to go off to college, um, but her dad ends up signing this contract for her to marry this uh, Italian man, um, this Italian young man. But then his father ends up falling for her instead. <laughs> so they like break the off the engagement and um, she's gonna be with his dad instead. So um, book number one ended on the cliffhanger. So book number two, I wanna read very soon. It's gonna wrap up their romance. And then I wanna read all the other ones. There's five books in this series. Next is the popular fall series by Amber Kelly. I've only read one book in the series but I definitely want to read more. I think this is going to be a fantastic small town romance series. Um, so the first one is Rustic Hearts. So I've read this one. This is a small town romance. Our heroine is a city girl who goes to back to her small town where her father lives um, in order to go to her grandmother's funeral and there she ends up meeting one of the ranch hands on the ranch um, who is our hero in here and he's like very much country boy. She's city girl. They don't really like each other at first but then they fall in love. Like I love this. So each book in the series I think takes place in um, this town Poplar Falls. There are six books in the series. I only own two. I own number five because I won it in a giveaway on um, Amber Kelly's um, Instagram. So that was very, very, very sweet of her. See, look, it's signed. I won it like years ago. It says Avery, every good girl needs her own Charlotte XOXO Amber Kelly. Like, isn't that so cute? So there are six book in, six books in the series. I've only read book number one, but I definitely want to continue on. I feel like this is like a fantastic small time romance series. I feel like more people definitely need to read book one. Like also its covers are stunning. Can we talk about that for a second? Um, but I haven't really heard any other things about the other books but like these covers are like getting me. Ooh, number two, Stone Hearts is a Friends to Lovers one. See, I need to pick these up. I need to. Next, I have the Mafia Wars series by uh, Maggie Cole. So I think there are how many books? Oh goodness, there's a lot. There's actually 10 books, I think, in this series. And I only own three and I've only read one. So uh, like a year or two ago, Maggie Cole was so sweet and ended up sending these three books my way. And so thank you, Maggie Cole, for doing that. So I've only read book number one. These are mafia romance books. And the hero of the story is a part of the mafia. He is at a bachelor party in Vegas and he overhears this woman talking to her girlfriends. That woman is our heroine. She just finalized her divorce. And she's talking to her friends about like this fantasy that she has about like, hooking up with a guy, like basically not knowing what he looks like, wearing, wearing like a blindfold the whole time and then having this fantastic, awesome night together and then walking away after it. Like she really wants that experience and the hero overhears this and he goes up to her friends who like go to the bathroom and he's like, I wanna be that guy. Like, can I please be that guy for your friends? Like, here's my wallet, here's my phone. Like, I swear I'm a good guy. Like, please let me do this to your friend. Like, I want to do this. And so these two have a grand old time together. They do. They have a grand night together. Um, and they split ways afterward, even though they do not want to, but like, they're going to stick to the agreement that they had. And then when they go back into the real world, after their two trips to Las Vegas, um, the heroine recognizes the hero's voice at work in like a boardroom meeting. And right from that point where he sees her in the real life, in the real world, he's like, all bets are off. She's mine now. I've seen her in the real world the deal is done. Like 
this is happening. So, um, and then she gets roped into kind of like his mafia lifestyle. So I really enjoyed this one. And I assume the other books are going to be involving other characters as well. Um, I like held off on reading these for so long because the audiobooks weren't out for the other books when this one did come out. So I think other ones are now out in the series. So I need to look those up. I also don't have Audible anymore. And I think they're probably only on Audible. So um, <laughs> whenever I get the time and money to purchase the audiobooks, I definitely well, next is the Chestnut Spring series by Miss Elsie Silver. I own all of the books in the people cover because I personally think they're the superior cover. Like, can we not talk about this? Like stunning. Like she's like holding the necklace. Like, oh, I swoon. Anyway, so like all of these total swoon worthy couple covers. Like I love them. Okay, so there are five books in this series, right? Okay, so we have these three I've already read. The first three, so Flawless heartless and powerless. These are small town romances that take place in the town Chestnut Springs. So first one is about Rhett and Summer and he's a professional bull rider and she is kind of like his PR babysitter. They fall in love. Um, and then Heartless is a nanny romance, single dad. Love this one. It's my favorite books of last year. And then Powerless is a friend's still lovers romance and he is a hockey player and he helps her escape like her wedding. She's a runaway bride. Um, and then I have not read these last two. I know tragic reckless is book number four which i know is surprise baby which i am very excited for because i've been in the surprise baby mood that's for sure and then hopeless is the newest one i just heard mixed things about this one and i'm scared to read it <laughs> because so many people have been like mixed feelings i really didn't like it i really did like i don't really know what to do so books that are like mixed like this i don't really know and this one is kind of mixed too so i'm like ah i don't know what to do so um and i'm also kind of waiting for these to become on audio at my library. Next is the Salacious Players Club series by Sarah Kate. There are six books in this series. I only own the first five, um, so I don't have Madame yet. So I need that one in my collection, but I own all of the people covers again because they're the superior ones. Like, I'm sorry, but if you love the new ones, we'd have to have a chat because <laughs> I think they're not as good as these. Like, can, are, are you joking? Like. Hello? Like, no. <laughs> anyway, so I've only read book number one, Praise, which is a romance where our heroine gets with her ex's dad. It's a fun book. It's fun. Um, And yeah, I haven't read these other four. I know this one is Stepsister Romance. This one is MMF, Friends, Best Friends to Lovers. This one is like Age Gap where she's older. And then... This one is another very large age gap. I own a lot of them that I haven't read yet, which I don't normally do that. But I saw Sarah Kate at a book signing like over a year ago and she had all the people covers there. And I was like, I heard they're going out of stock. So I got to stock up on them. So that's the main reason why I own all of these and I need to get Madame before that one is gone. But each book in this series takes place at the Salacious Players Club, which is a fun old club, wink, wink, Club. Next is the Ward Sister series by Carla Sorensen. I've actually read the original um, series already, which is like the Washington Wolf series. It's a football team romance series. I think there's three three books in that one. I read that one. And then this is the spinoff series. And yeah, so I read book one, which is focused, but I haven't read the other three. Each book is about one of the Ward sisters who we met in the like main series like the Washington Wolf series. Focused is a forbidden romance. Our hero just got traded onto the football team the heroine works on and she's been hired to like kind of help with this documentary when it comes to him specifically and she kind of signed a agreement that she wouldn't like fraternize with anyone on the team um, but then she ends up falling for our hero and there's also like a past element to them. They have like history um, and then yeah each of the other books is about a sister and i do know one of them is like a surprise pregnancy book which i'm really excited for next is the never after series by miss emily mcintyre i've read the first two books in this series there are currently five books out these are kind of like romance series surrounding villains of tales and them getting their happily ever after okay so the first one is hooked i read that one that's a peter pan retelling where hook is this very dangerous man he ends up meeting a woman named wendy at a bar one night and then he figures out that that is peter pan his most rivaling rival's daughter and he thinks that she is like there to get secrets from him and with him to get secrets from him when that's not the case he ends up kidnapping her trying to like get all the secrets out she's like i don't know what you're talking about that's their romance. And then Scarred is a um, retelling of The Lion King where Scar gets with um, 
his brother's fiance. This one's really hot and fun. And then I haven't read the other three books. So Wretched is the third book, which I think is a Wizard of Oz retelling. Next is Twisted, which I think is an Aladdin retelling. And book number five is the one that I want to read so freaking bad. It's a Hunchback of Notre Dame retelling. Mm, I need it. I need it in my life like right now, but I want to read the other books first. I need to. I'm controlling myself. I want to read this one so bad though. Next is the Underworld series by Sophie Lark. So um, I'll, I've read all of the Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark and then I, it's recommended to read the Underworld series before or at least the first two books in the Underworld series before you get to Kingmakers. I haven't even started the Kingmaker books um, but I don't want to just read the first two. That's what's recommended. I want to read the whole series of the Underworld series before I get to Kingmakers. So that's my little people People have been asking me like, why have you read the Kingmaker series yet? It's because I want to read the whole Underworld series and there are eight books in that series. So I read the first two, I own them. So the first one is Ivan and the second one is Snow. These are mafia romances. These are Sophie's like first books. Um, so Ivan, um, this is a book where our heroine's like a hired killer and um, she's the closest person to ever unalive. Ivan here who is a mafia boss but he ends up catching her in the act and he's very intrigued by her he kidnaps her takes her but then falls in love with her and then Snow here is an underground fighter and this is his romance with like the very reluctant doctor to a mafia she is being blackmailed by this mafia man to be the doctor for the mafia and then I haven't read any of the other ones I don't know what any of the other ones are about except that they're mafia next is this series that I've been wanting to read for quite a while to continue on with but this is the fallen men series by Gianna Darling these are the first two books uh, we have lessons in corruption and welcome to the dark side I own two books and I even own a copy, another copy right there of book number two, Welcome to the Dark Side. I've only read <laughs> Welcome to the Dark Side. I haven't read any of the other books in the series. I know it's a crime. I know. I also know that the latest book just came out like a month ago, less than a month ago. This is Caution to the Witness book number seven. Like there's going to be even more books in the series. It's a motorcycle club series. I've met Gianna before. I love Gianna. She is so incredibly sweet. And I definitely want to read this series. I just don't know why I haven't yet. I just haven't. I haven't. Like, I need y'all to bully me to read this series because everyone loves it. I need to. And I really want to read, um, which one is it? I want to read Dead Man Walking because I feel like that's going to be my book is that one. <laughs> so I really want to get to that one. But I absolutely love this book with Daddy Zeus. Like, ha. Huh. Mm -mm. Yes. Okay. So I need to read book number one, which is an age gap, like student teacher romance. Um, and I think, I, I don't really know what the other ones are about, honestly. I'm excited anyway. And I need people to bully me in the comments, please, to read these books. Next, I have the Four Horsemen series by Laura Thalassa. I own book number one, which is Pestilence. So each book in this series is about a four horsemen of the apocalypse. They're trying to do their duty and bring about the apocalypse on Earth. So Pestilence is um, the god of like disease so he's trying to spread plague everywhere around the earth and the heroine of the story tries to kill him literally does kill him but she doesn't know that pestilence literally cannot die he comes back to life and has decided to make this woman pay for what she did for killing him and drags her all around the world and makes her watch him kill the human race and then they fall for each other i know it's a lot um and so i haven't read any of the other books but there are four books in the series so you have war famine and death i heard the last two books are the best let me know which ones are your favorite next i want to mention the green creek series by tj clune and this is the first book wolf song this is a wolf shifter paranormal romance series it's so stinking good um and i was even a part one of the hosts of the read along that happened in 2023 and i haven't picked up the last one i've read all the other ones i've read all the little novellas that you can read online on tj clune's website like i've read all of them I have not read the last book which is brother song i love all of these books a lot they're so good and i've heard great things about brother song it's just so incredibly long it's intimidating it's intimidating to me and it just is so um i really love these books a lot they're fantastic world small town romance books next is the dark ruler series by um rebecca f kenny so i've only read one of the books in the series which is a book number three these are interconnect interconnected standalones i think they all maybe take place on the same fantasy realm or world um but they do not correlate like whatsoever so i've only read book number three which is prize of the warlord and our heroine of the story um she gets kidnapped by a warlord um because he wants his land back which her father stole and so he's going to use her as ransom to get his land back but then they fall for each other when she's like kidnapped by him there's great representation here because you don't read a lot of fantasy 
books in general that have like chronic illness or disability representation and the heroine has like asthma and um, has a lot of food restrictions because her stomach can't handle it. So I assume she has IBS or has a dairy allergy or something, but they can't really say that in a fantasy world. Um, but yeah, I really want to read the other books in the series. There are seven right now and they just look really fun. Like they seem like shorter length fantasy romance books that look like a lot of fun. Speaking of fantasy romance, I have the Taryn Soul, whoa, Taryn Soul series by C.L. Wilson. If you want like an epic, epic, epic love story that spans over like five books, you need to pick up the Taryn Soul series. Okay, so these are five books in this series. It's a completed series, by the way. Book number one did just get a new cover. Okay, this is the new cover, um, but this is the original one. I think they're iconic. They're really fun to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, this series is about Rain, Taryn Soul, which is the last um, Taryn Fae, and um, he's the most powerful Fae like ever. And he finds out that his fated mate is a human woman named Eliseta Baristani. Eliseta is baffled by this because uh, Fae mates are destined to like be mated to their equal in every way. And she's just this small little adopted human. How, how is she supposed to be mated to this all powerful Fae? So there's a lot going on in the series. So I've read the first four books and I have not read the last one. This one is Crown of Crystal Flame. I have not read the last one. I'm putting it off. I know. Like, I just don't want this series to be over. And I'm kind of terrified of the villain that's in this story. Like the villain spans the whole entire series and I'm terrified of him. He's awful. I'm so scared of him. <laughs> but like, I also really want to read the last one so I can figure out like what happens to a lot of characters who have been going through a lot to go through the ringer in this series. So I think any play has like all of them on audio, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you can check these out if you want to. They're really fun. We're going on to alien romances or monster romances. So, um, I would really love to finish soon the Zaveri Maid series by Elizabeth Stevens. So this is an alien romance series I absolutely love. Um, there are 10 books in this series and I've only read the first three and I own book number two, which is my favorite so far, which is Take It to Nobu. These are alien romances that are so good. <laughs> like I could shout loud and proud about them from the rooftops. But Tiffany and I from Tiff Talks Pages, we wanna read, buddy read the rest of this series hopefully together because we read book number two and book number three together. Um, but yeah, these are interconnected standalones of human women finding their mates with aliens, not all on the same planet, like ice planet barbarians, they're all different kinds of aliens, which is so cool. And they're all from different like planets. So this one takes place on an ice planet. So it kind of gave me IPB vibes. It's so good. Um, so I really recommend this series and I wanna read all the other ones really badly. Next is the Prime Mating Agency series by Regine Abel. These are monster alien romances. They all take place, I think on a different, planet but they all have like different monster creatures which is so cool. I've read the first two books and there are nine. Number one is the Mail Order Bride romance. The heroine gets with a lizard man. It's friends to lovers. It kind of reminded me of Radiance in a way by Grace Draven which y'all know I love. And then book number two I own that one which is I Married a Naga where the heroine commits a crime on this planet so he won't kill her. He decides to marry her instead. This Naga like ruler who's like a snake creature. Um, there's I Married a Birdman which is like a birdman guy. Um, I married a merman, I married a minotaur, I married a wanjin, I think that's how you pronounce that, I'm so sorry. Um, I married a dragon, I married a beast, I married a dryad, and I married an incubus is the latest one. These are really just fun, quick reads with like heroes who would do anything for their women. And plus they're hot monsters, so yes. Ooh, another monster romance series I'm like dying to continue on with, but the books are so intimidatingly long. Like I even, I think I read the first chapter of book number two like a week ago. I just haven't gone back to it because the size intimidates me. Okay, so this is the Dusk Walker Brides series by Opal Rain. I read book one, which is A Soul to Keep. I absolutely adore that book. It's a romance between a human who is sold by her people to Orpheus, who is this demon. And um, all he wants is companionship in his life. He like looks like this scary creature, but he's like the sweetest bean on the inside. I love him. Okay, so Assault to Keep, I love that one. Assault to Heal, I currently have that one checked out on KU. I'm trying to make my way through that. Um, so there's Assault to Touch. I really wanna get to book number four, which is Assault to Guide, because we've heard about the heroine of the story in like a few books, so I'm excited. And then Assault to Revive is the latest one that's out. Like, look at that cover. Yes, it's about these like demon creatures getting with women. So, <laughs> and I also have the Spider's Mate series by Tiffany Roberts, specifically the Spider's Mate like main trilogy. So I have read Instead, which is the first book in the series, which is a romance between Katon and Ivy. Katon is this alien spider creature and Ivy is a human woman whose spacecraft crashed on his planet. He ends up finding her in cryosleep and waking her up thinking that she's a pet. And he brings her back to his like cave and he quickly realizes, oh no, this is like a sentient woman. 
and then they end up like actually falling for each other so that's book number one i do need to read the other books in the series because i think like more humans are introduced to this world and so the first three books in the series are all about katon and ivy and then there is another book that's going to take place on this world i think it's called the weaver I think they pushed back the release date, release date for that one to Roberts did. I'm excited for that one as well. So I know I need to read these. I was at first waiting for the audios and they're already out now. And I'm like, what's my excuse <laughs> now? And I have listened to the audiobook, like the sample of like Katon. And y'all need to go listen to that if you haven't yet. If you want to hear a man's voice, huh, go listen to the sample of that audiobook, please. Go do it you'll thank me later. The last three are historical romance series that I would love to continue on with. First is the Ruthless Rival series by Kate Bateman. The first one being A Reckless Match. I've only read book number one, but I believe there are three books and some change out. So there's a few novellas. Like these all look so fun. Like the, even the novellas do. Okay. So this first one though, A Reckless Match. Like look at how stunning this is, by the way. I love it. Um, I read this one uh, when it first came out. I loved it. I need to continue on. But I think this series um, is about like rivaling families and this one is about uh two characters who are going to be meeting up at the spot that their families have to meet up at every year in order to to talk about the lands that they want um and if someone doesn't show up like whoever does show up ends up getting the land so everyone always has to have like a representative there to talk about this land on this day okay cool so the hero and the heroine are the characters in this book who um meet up at that land it's so good these two like end up getting like lost at one point in like a cave or something and they have to help each other to get out of it it's fine but i definitely want to continue on with that series i just love kate bateman's books and i think like this is the only series that i haven't read like all of her other books in oh no there's another series never mind there's another series i haven't even read yet by her which like i think is her first series so scratch that <laughs> i would love to continue on with the stacy reed series so the one that i really enjoyed so far is the forever your series the only one that i've read is the first book of the series which is the marquess and i um the heroine of the story is um visually impaired that's also why i want to read the series really bad because i think they're historicals that have a lot of characters who have disabilities um and i love that representation obviously so the heroine of the story she's blind and this is her second chance romance with the man who she had to cut off like her engagement with who she was very much in love with and he is coming back into town and like she wasn't blind when he left and now she is and he's like what happened to you and there's like a lot other stuff going on here but i really enjoyed the second chance romance and i think there are 12 books in this series and i think they're all on kindle unlimited and they're fairly short like 200 pages and some change always or even less than that so i i do want to read more of these books this year and the last series i would love to mention today is a historical romance series i actually own quite a lot of books in the series um but i uh, have only read two of them <laughs> so this is the whoa Let's hold them like this. Okay, this is the Maiden Lane series by Miss Elizabeth Hoyt. I've only read two of them. Let's get them out. Uh, this is book number seven and book number eight a part of the series. I know I did not start at book number one. Okay, don't hate me. Um, but I really wanted to read these two because they have disability representation. So book number seven is a darling beast. Our hero in here is a speechless character. Um, and this is also single mom. And then I also read book number eight, which is Dearest Rogue. Sorry if you can hear the rain, by the way, it just started pouring outside. This is a, about a heroine who is blind and her romance with her bodyguard who is way older than her. A little bit forbidden. So I love these two in the series, um, but I definitely wanna get back to book number one and start all over. I do have book number one, which is Wicked Intentions. I actually have like a step back version and I have it signed, but it's not to me. It came like pre-signed, like with someone else's name to Rachel. Rachel whoever Rachel is and it even came with like a, a little bookmark and I found this a half price box can you believe that okay so I have book number one Wicked Intentions and then I have all these other books in the series as well I don't know what number they are and what order they go in um I bet if I look at Goodreads I could figure it out um but yeah every time I just see a Maiden Lane book with a step back in it I buy it um because I do love those two books and every time I just see a two page step back in the series I get it because I think they're very like rare to find them in uh in stores now uh because like two page step backs aren't really a thing anymore oh, look a bathtub one yes and um yeah so that's what i that's what i do so um yeah i really want to read the rest of this historical romance series there's like 12 books so i'm excited anyways there you have it those are 20 romance series that i am dying to finish soon um let me know down below if you've read any of these series any of these books which series should i prioritize first let me know down below if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me a book stack emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one
bye y'all.